What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel Panda here and today I bring you another video for crush them all now I know a lot of my videos all of my videos realistically except for my first impression video have been all focused on Beginners and that's mainly because I myself am also a beginner and it makes sense To want to cover the content that the people starting around the same time Maybe a little bit ahead of me a little bit behind me so they can kind of see their progression in comparison to my progression But also leave a lot of information for new people coming far into the future so they can have a good start to their game however I know that this game is, I believe, roughly three years old or almost three years old. And there's a lot of people out there who don't need the information that I've been giving them in these last couple beginner guide videos. And that's what today's video series is all about. Yeah, you heard that right. Series. Here is the plan. I'm going to make a series based entirely on this video and we're going to roll with it. It's going to be a lot of fun for the early game players to see what their characters can become. For the mid game players to see which characters they should really start hard focusing on. As well as the end game characters, or uh, sorry, end game players who have already focused on these characters. But want to have a little more fun with testing certain things, etc. So guys, I do want one small disclaimer, and by small I mean very, very large disclaimer, before I actually dive into the content of this video. This account that you see on the screen is not a live account. It is an account on a dev build of the game given to me by the developers over at Godzi Labs. They have provided me access to this server so that I can make content for you guys with a test server. This account is not on live servers. The reason this is important is because we are going to be focusing on a PvP video today, focusing on a team that was built by the community in Discord. And while we were doing that, Moleki and all of the other devs were getting tons of whispers going, Whoa, this guy has this crazy account. What? Wait, this isn't, there's no way we have this kind of stuff, guys. It's not on the live servers. I just want to clarify that in this video. This is a testing server that I will be working on making videos with the help of a couple of the devs. Now that we've gotten that disclaimer out of the way, let's dive right into today's video. As I said, about a week ago, I sat down in the Discord and I was like, You know what? I want to make content for endgame players. What do they care about? And so I said, let's let's ask. I went into the CTA game discussion channel and I said, hey guys, if you could pick the perfect arena team, full 779, six star, max level runes, what would you pick? And this is the team that they came up with. We have Ornok, Tesla, Thorn, Alda, Scud, Valkyrie, Onyx, Trickster, Vlad, and Dark Hunter. This is the team that, that, that you guys in the Discord built, and that is the team that we are going to look at and test today. Now, I know you're thinking, Panda, that's a 9.5 million power team. How are you possibly going to be able to test that? Well, luckily, like I said, this is a dev server. And we have our boy Arthur right here who was asking a very similar question in that Discord, and that was, if you could build the best... Arena defense team, 779, 6 star, max level runes, what would you pick? And this is the team that he came up with. I have not seen this team yet, so this will be my first time looking at the team. But I have a feeling there will probably be a couple similarities um, just because the units that are on my team are really top notch. So let's see what he has on his team. Okay, so I was I was right. A lot of these units are the same. About half of them are the same. Yeah, a little more than half. Six of them are the same. Ornok, Dark Hunter, Vlad, Scud, Thorn, and Valkyrie are the same. The only changes are the Aqua, Namida, um, Frost Queen, and I don't know who this is right here. Uh, that doesn't look like a familiar unit to me, but it's probably like some unit with a skin or something. I don't know. Let's see if we can find it. I, want, I actually want to see what that unit is. Let's go over here to the collection. Uh, here we go. It's probably this guy, right? 
Yeah, Snowman. Okay, so it's Snowman. All right, so we're going to go up against his team in the arena. We should hopefully be able to get a couple different uh, battles just so we can kind of see what it looks like. Um, but it was difficult for me to actually find him in arena, so we will see if we're able to find him again. Um, but let's just dive right in. 9.5 million power versus a 9,528,000 power. So he's got about 22k power on me, but let's see how this team fares let's just dive right in here we go all right so we're going up ornok versus ornok we're doing a lot of damage to this ornok um he is just getting shredded we are we're already in the back line we have lost a couple units um but ornok is just a huge tank it looks like we are going to be able to win um it was definitely not as fast as I was expecting. Um, when we were talking about this team in chat, there was a lot of, he's not going to stand a chance, blah, 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 blah. But this, his team did um, pretty good. I mean, it, it lasted a while. So Dark Hunter did 300 million almost damage. Scud did about 170 million damage. Thorn had about 100 million damage. Trickster did some pretty decent damage. Uh, keep in mind, this is a 779 Trickster, which, if I remember correctly, was about two to three thousand dollars. Um, that's a pretty expensive unit. Um, but here we have the ability to see what he's like in the endgame with some pretty good runes. Uh, damage taken, Ornox, both Ornox just took a massive, massive amount of damage. Um, Mine a little bit less than his, and I think that's just because they dealt less damage, right? Like, yeah, my Dark uh, dark Hunter just blew this their scud out of the water when it came to damage. Uh, and then we have the healing here. We had Vlad doing 16.78 uh, million damage, or healing over here. Um, and, yeah, we, I mean, we had a pretty decent spread of damage and HP, but let's see... Let's go up against him again. Oh, perfect. He showed up right away. We'll go up against him one more time. Let's see. It's the same team as you can see here. We do have Mail and Gunner as well. So our Scud, uh, our Scuds are getting a little bit of a boost. Um, a lot of a, of a boost, actually. And we've got one, two, three, four males and he's got one two three four five males on top of the two so he's actually got a slightly stronger team because of that male buff um, but let's go up against it one more time we're gonna watch it in times one speed because i want to actually see um what is happening in the back line so we can see here that mainly ornok is the only one being targeted um we're not really getting a lot off but we do get these big this big ball here from snowman that just kind of throws into the back line scuds actually taken out um but we took out his ornok so we can start pushing into the back line there goes our onyx our vlad is doing work with the heels um but i don't know man like we we've lost some dps already um but ornok is still alive and kicking he's getting frozen here by the team though um i think this was his plan was to just freeze my ornok um, and just burn through the back line because really we're just looking at trickster and dark hunter now trying to burn through them um, Looks like we're almost able to take out Vlad um, There we go Vlad's down. I think we'll win this now that he has no more heals left um, This was definitely a very close match. So we'll go ahead and speed it up because we don't need to watch him kill this in slow motion but dark hunter and trickster doing work uh, I mean, I think we all knew that Dark Hunter was a phenomenal unit. I mean, when I pulled him and I started using him, I was like, this dude does does the damage. Like, he does the damage. He's just a phenomenal unit. Um, again, it looks like Ornox took about the same amount of damage. Um, pretty even spread down the bottom. HP recovered. Uh, Vlad took most of the HP on my team. Frost Queen over here. It looks like he did a more healing overall. Um... But yeah, let's see if we can find him one more time. Um, don't know if we'll be able to. Let's see here. That might be the end of it. There he is, one more time. So we'll go ahead. We're going to fight him one more time. Um, and yeah, we, we'll, we'll spend this. We're going to do it on times three again so we can watch. I just want to watch my back line. You can see the freezes. Snowman does a lot of freezing. Already took out my Alda. Not really able to do much. Vlad is doing quite a bit of healing, though. Um, Tesla is just kind of getting, getting shit on. I mean... 
Yeah, but we're the thing is, is we're ooh, we actually lost. Oh, we're we're losing this round. Okay, okay. So it looks like his team is entirely dependent on landing the the proper freezes. Um, it seems like if he can land the right amount of freezes in the back line, his Ornok will survive longer than mine will, which will allow him to get to my back line, um, which seems to be the strategy that he was going with when he was building this team. Um, as you can see here, his Ornok lasted just a little bit longer, and he did just a little bit more damage. I want to go against him one more time. Let's see if we can find him one more time. We'll go ahead and do this one last time, then we'll look at the runes. Um, wow, his Ornok ran really far this time. Uh, that is actually a little scary. I think we might lose this. Oh, no, his Ornok is getting shredded, though. Um, we are already pushing into the back line. We've lost a lot of damage dealers already, though. We're just down to Ornok, Trickster, and Dark Hunter. But he is down to just Dark Hunter and Snowman now. Our, oh, and Vlad. Vlad's down, though. Ornok is very low on HP, but I think we'll win this. I don't think... Yep, there we go. We are going to win this just barely, though. That was a v much closer match. That was a, I mean, that was really, really fun for me. I like, I, I haven't had the chance to really play with these endgame units uh, fully built out, but let's just go ahead and look at them. This is our Ornok. As you can see, he is 779. We are running him on a Vitality, Phalanx, and Nimble set. Full HP subs. As you can see, this is his... Uh, his overall percentage is pretty strong. Um, then we look at our Onyx. Onyx is built with an HP, Dazed, and Splash set, uh, primarily focused on just trying to stun as many people as possible. Uh, attack per second uh, mains on almost all of these. We have a couple AoEs, um, and we had one HP there. Uh, if we look at our Vlad, our Vlad is built Precise, Rage, and Swift, attack per second on all of the main substats. Um, then we have our Dark Hunter, oops, our Dark Hunter here, built Precise, Rage, and Swift as well with attack main stats, um, looking pretty good. And then we go to, where is he, where is he, oh, that's actually it there, uh, where is it, Tesla, here we go, Tesla, we have a precise rage and swift set again, again with attack per second as the main stats, um, then we move on to, where is it, where is it, Thorn, Thorn here has a splash, um, blight and damage sets with attack AOE um, and on most of them but with two poison time primaries uh, just to get that extra poison duration very very strong uh, then we move on to our fires we have Alda here um, Alda has rage swift and precise again with attack main um, I believe that she is mainly just there for critical damage uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much all she's there for, so her dying doesn't really make that much of a difference. Then we have Scud, who is on, again, Precise Rage and Damage with Attack Main Stats. Um, and then we move on to Valkyrie. Valkyrie is built with Frozen, Chilling, and Swift with Attack Per Second uh, as the main stats. Uh, basically just trying to, to get some freezes off with Valkyrie. Um, is that everybody? I feel like we're missing someone. Who am I, who am I missing? I am missing someone. I, I know I'm missing someone. Let's go back and look at the team because I feel like I'm missing someone. Uh, Trickster, Trickster, Trickster. Trickster, yeah, just Trickster. Okay, sorry. We'll go back. We'll look at Trickster. Uh, I was like, I knew I was missing somebody. I just wasn't sure who it was. Trickster, here we go. Trickster is built on a dazed vitality swift set with attack per second as the main stat. So, guys, this video has already gone on for a ridiculous amount of time, but I really, really enjoyed it. Those, like, four or five battles that we did was a lot of fun versus Arthur. So, guys, here is where the fun really gets to kick in. I want to know what you guys want to see. I have access to 779 six star max level runes, no limitations. So if you guys want to see something special, if you guys want to test a build at its maximum potential, let me know. Put a comment in the comment section down below with what you want to see. Now, I am going to ask for specifics here because as you know, I'm a new player, so I don't know how to rune all of these characters. 
So if you have a specific build that you want to see, I am going to need you to tell me what runes, what main stats, what substats to look for in this comment. If you would like, you can also hit me up on Discord in a direct message so I can have it there a little bit um, easier to access. But I am okay with accessing it on YouTube comments because, of course, all the comments increases the traffic to the channel. So, guys, if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment down below with what you want to see in the next episode of this series, which again, I don't know what we're going to name it yet. Maybe uh, maybe leave a comment down below with a name for this series too. I'm thinking like maximum potential or something something about like perfect stats and things like that, but I just I don't I don't quite have a name yet. So let me know what you guys think for this series. And also, please if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification icon so you can be notified when all my content goes live but guys that is it for me thank you so much for watching the video i'll see you in the next one and enjoy the end screen